Welcome to the Breeze Odyssey channel and our city introduction series. Today we're exploring the fascinating city of London, a metropolis teeming with stories that echo across centuries. Our journey starts over 2,000 years ago, when the Romans founded Londinium. This modest settlement on the banks of the River Thames would grow into a city of global significance. Let's take a step back in time to when the Romans constructed the first London Bridge, setting the stage for the city's pivotal role in history. The Middle Ages saw London's expansion beyond its Roman boundaries. It became the political, economic and cultural heart of England, with the Tower of London and Westminster Abbey rising as symbols of royal power. Yet London's growth was not always smooth sailing. The city faced numerous trials, including the Great Fire in 1666 that reduced much of it to ashes. But like a phoenix, London rose from the ashes, rebuilding and transforming into a city of architectural marvels. Fast forward to the 20th century, London endured the devastating blitz during World War II. Despite the destruction, the city's spirit remained unbroken. Post-war rebuilding saw the emergence of modern architectural gems amidst historic structures, creating the city's unique skyline we see today. In the present day, London stands as a bustling metropolis, a melting pot of cultures, and a hub of innovation. It's a city where the old and new coexist harmoniously, where history is etched into every corner, from its ancient Roman walls to its towering skyscrapers. Whether it's the chime of Big Ben, the hustle and bustle of Piccadilly Circus, or the serenity of the River Thames, every facet of London tells a story of resilience, transformation and progress. With such a rich history, London indeed stands as a testament to time. Its past is not just a story of survival against the odds, but a testament to human spirit and ingenuity. So buckle up as we continue to delve into the captivating world of London, a city that has truly stood the test of time. Now let's turn our attention to London's mesmerizing architecture and famous landmarks. As we traverse the cityscape of London, the first stop on our architectural odyssey is the Tower of London. This historic castle on the north bank of the River Thames has stood as a symbol of royal power since the late 11th century. Its white tower, which gives the entire complex its name, is a masterpiece of Norman architecture. Over the centuries, the Tower of London has served as a royal palace, a treasury, a menagerie, and even a prison. Today, it houses the crown jewels, a collection of ceremonial objects steeped in history and grandeur. Next, we find ourselves at the British Museum, a treasure trove of global history and culture. Its majestic Greek revival facade invites us into a world of over eight million works, spanning over two million years of history. From the Rosetta Stone to the Elgin Marbles, every artifact in the British Museum tells a tale, revealing glimpses of our shared human story. A short journey westward brings us to Buckingham Palace, the official residence of Her Majesty the Queen. Originally known as Buckingham House, it became a palace in the 19th century under the reign of Queen Victoria. Its iconic facade with the famous balcony where the royal family greets the public is a sight to behold. The changing of the guard ceremony a spectacle of British pomp and pageantry is a must-see for any visitor. The London Eye, or the Millennium Wheel, gives us a different perspective on London. This cantilevered observation wheel on the south bank of the River Thames offers breathtaking panoramic views of the city. As one of the tallest Ferris wheels in the world, the London Eye is a testament to modern engineering and a symbol of the new millennium. Finally, we arrive at the Shard, piercing the London skyline like a shard of glass, hence the name. This 87-storey skyscraper is the tallest building in the United Kingdom and a beacon of contemporary architecture. Its multifaceted glass facade reflects the ever-changing London sky, while its viewing gallery offers a bird's-eye view of the city. Each of these landmarks, from the ancient Tower of London to the modern Shard, embodies a chapter in London's architectural narrative. They are icons that encapsulate London's rich history and its continuous evolution. They serve as touchstones to the past, while also pointing towards the future, blending the old with the new in a uniquely London way. These landmarks are indeed the heart and soul of London, each telling a story of its own. From their historical significance to their architectural grandeur, they stand as silent witnesses to the city's past, present and future. They are more than just structures, they are the embodiment of London's spirit and character. 
So next time you find yourself in London, take a moment to marvel at these architectural marvels and let their stories unfold. Let's delve into some fun facts that make London a unique city. Now London is known worldwide for its grandeur, history and iconic landmarks. But there's a quirky side to it that often slips under the radar. Let's lift the veil and reveal these hidden gems. Imagine a city where over 300 languages are spoken. Yes, you heard it right. London, with its diverse population, is a linguistic paradise, making it one of the most linguistically diverse cities in the world. From Punjabi to Polish, Bengali to Bulgarian, you'll hear a symphony of languages as you stroll the streets. Speaking of strolling, have you ever noticed the eerie, abandoned underground stations while commuting around the city? London's transportation network is vast, but not all of it is in use. These ghost stations, as they are popularly known, are remnants of a bygone era, left behind as the city evolved and grew. Aldwych, Down Street, York Road, to name a few, stand as silent witnesses to the city's ever-changing landscape. Now, London is known for its grand statues and monuments, but it's also home to something far more diminutive. Tucked away on Philpot Lane, you'll find the smallest statue in London. It's a tiny two-inch mouse nibbling on a piece of cheese. This minuscule monument was supposedly erected as a tribute to two builders who fell during the construction of the nearby monument to the Great Fire of London, after a dispute over a missing sandwich, which a mouse had taken. These peculiar facts, though lesser known, contribute to the unique character of London. From its linguistic diversity to its ghost stations and even its tiniest statue, these quirks add a dash of whimsy to the city's grandeur. London is a city that embraces its idiosyncrasies, making it a place like no other. Each corner, every brick and cobblestone has a story to tell, a tale that adds another layer to London's rich tapestry. These quirks and peculiarities add to the charm of this vibrant city. So, the next time you visit, remember to look beyond the usual sights. Who knows? You might discover a quirk that will make your London experience even more memorable. Now, let's embark on a culinary adventure in London. The city's gastronomic landscape is as diverse as its population, offering an array of flavours that are as much a part of London's identity as its landmarks and history. Tasting London's food is like taking a bite out of its culture, and what a delicious culture it is. Start your day with a typical English breakfast, a hearty meal that's been a staple for centuries. It's a smorgasbord of bacon, eggs, sausages, beans and grilled tomatoes all served up with a slice of buttered toast. It's the kind of breakfast that fuels an entire day of exploring. As the clock strikes midday, you might find yourself in one of the city's many pubs. Here you can sample traditional British pub food like fish and chips, pies and ploughman's lunch, washed down with a pint of local ale. These dishes, steeped in tradition, are comfort food at its best, perfect for a rainy London day. And then, there's the quintessential British tradition of afternoon tea. Picture this, delicate sandwiches, scones with clotted cream and jam, a selection of cakes, and of course, a pot of freshly brewed tea. It's a moment of elegance in the hustle and bustle of the city, a time to slow down and savour every bite. But London's food scene isn't just about traditional British fare, the city is a melting pot of cultures, and this is reflected in its culinary offerings. From the aromatic spices of Brick Lane's curry houses, to the vibrant flavours of Brixton's Caribbean eateries, and the myriad of food markets offering dishes from all corners of the globe, London's food scene is a culinary journey of its own. Whether you're a foodie with a penchant for gourmet dining or a traveller on the hunt for authentic local flavours, London serves up a feast for every palate. Every dish tells a story, every meal is an experience, and every bite is a taste of the city's rich and diverse culture. The city's food scene is indeed a reflection of its multicultural spirit. Let's see how London has influenced not just Britain, but the world. London, a city rich in history and culture, has left its mark on the world in more ways than one might imagine. From its esteemed status as a financial hub, to its undeniable contribution to arts and fashion, London's influence is global, and it's nearly impossible to overlook. As one of the world's leading financial centres, London is the beating heart of global economics. Home to the London Stock Exchange and numerous multinational corporations, the city's economic decisions ripple out, affecting markets worldwide. The pound sterling, one of the world's oldest currencies still in use, 
is a testament to London's enduring financial power. But London's influence is not confined to the world of finance. The city is a cultural powerhouse, a melting pot of diverse communities, ideas, and artistic expressions. London's theatre scene, from the iconic West End to fringe venues, has been instrumental in shaping global theatre. The city's music scene too has given the world genres like punk rock and grunge, and artists from the Rolling Stones to Adele. London's influence on world fashion is undeniable. From the swinging 60s, when Carnaby Street was the epicentre of cool, to the punk fashion revolution of the 70s, and the birth of the London look in the 90s, the city has been setting trends for decades. Today, London Fashion Week is one of the big four fashion weeks globally, and the city continues to be a hotbed of fashion innovation. In politics, London holds a significant role as the capital of one of the United Nations' founding members. The city's political decisions often have far-reaching implications, affecting not just Europe, but the globe. From economics to culture, politics to fashion, it's clear that London's influence is far-reaching. This city, steeped in history yet always looking forward, continues to shape our world in profound ways. London's influence indeed reaches far beyond its city limits. Now let's talk about some unforgettable things to do in London. First on our list is a trip on the London Eye. The London Eye isn't just any Ferris wheel. No, it's a modern marvel that offers panoramic views of the city, stretching as far as the eye can see. As you ascend in one of the 32 high-tech capsules, the bustling cityscape of London unfolds beneath you. There, the iconic landmarks, from the Tower of London to the Shard, look like pieces on a giant chessboard. And when you reach the top, the sprawling metropolis is at your feet, the River Thames snaking its way through the heart of it all. The view is breathtaking, to say the least. It's a sight you won't soon forget, a moment that encapsulates the grandeur of London. Next, let's immerse ourselves in the vibrant world of London's West End. This is the British Broadway, where stories come alive in a dazzling display of lights, music and drama. Whether you're a fan of the timeless classics like Phantom of the Opera and Les Miserables, or more contemporary shows like Hamilton and The Book of Mormon, there's something for everyone. The energy is palpable as the curtain rises and the performance begins. The actors, the stage, the orchestra all come together to create a magical experience. And the best part? Each show is unique, each performance a new and exciting spectacle. So, take a seat, relax, and let the world of theatre sweep you off your feet. Finally, take a leisurely stroll along the River Thames. This isn't just a river, it's a lifeline a historical pathway that has witnessed the rise and fall of empires, the evolution of a city. As you walk along the banks, you'll encounter a mix of modern and historical architecture, from the Houses of Parliament to the Tate Modern. You'll see street performers showcasing their talents, food stalls serving up local favourites, and artists capturing the city's beauty on canvas. The River Thames is a microcosm of London, a testament to its diversity and dynamism. Walking its length is like taking a journey through time, a journey that will leave an indelible mark on your soul. These experiences are not just about sightseeing. They're about stepping into the heart of a city that pulses with life and history, about immersing yourself in the soul of London. The London Eye gives you a bird's eye view of the city. The West End invites you into a world of stories and emotions, and a walk along the Thames offers a slice of London in all its diversity. These experiences are sure to make your time in London truly memorable. Finally, let's unveil a hidden gem in London. Nestled in the city's pulsating heart, away from its iconic landmarks and bustling streets, lies the lesser known Leak Street Arches. This isn't your typical tourist spot. It's a vibrant graffiti tunnel that's alive with the spirit of London's underground art scene. Picture this, a labyrinthine tunnel, its walls adorned with an ever-changing canvas of graffiti. The art here isn't static, it's ephemeral and constantly evolving, much like the city itself. Every visit offers a unique experience, a new piece of art to admire, and a different story to tell. Here, creativity thrives amidst the echoes of spray cans and the scent of fresh paint. It's a place where the city's artistic souls congregate, leaving their mark in vibrant hues and intricate designs. 
This off-the-beaten-path spot is a testament to London's vibrant and evolving culture. Well, that's a wrap on our epic odyssey through London. We hope you've enjoyed this journey as much as we did, marvelling at the history, landmarks, quirks, cuisine and the undeniable influence of this magnificent city. Did the Leak Street Arches, London's secret spot, pique your curiosity? If so, that's the spirit we love. There's always more to discover, more to explore and more to learn. That's the beauty of travel. If you're yearning for more, don't worry, we've got you covered. Be sure to check out our other city introduction videos. From the romantic streets of Paris to the bustling markets of Bangkok, there's a world of adventure waiting for you. As we bid adieu to London, remember, the journey doesn't stop here. Keep that adventurous flame burning and continue to explore the beautiful, diverse world we live in. Remember, the world is a book, and those who do not travel read only one page. So keep turning those pages and who knows, you might just stumble upon a chapter full of dragons and unicorns. Until our next adventure together, keep it breezy and stay curious.